Whoops. Uh, <laughs> that thing never works when I want it to. Uh, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. This is episode 7. Cold doesn't bother me anyway. Brought to you by Brianna. Thank you, Brianna, for being a VIP. Oh, wow, that totally threw off this stream. I'm sorry. Thank you, Brianna, for being an ultimate. We really appreciate the support, and we hope you enjoy your stream. So, uh, we continue in the world of Arendale, I believe. With, uh, more Frozen. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring this way down, way down low. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? Good. What about now? Yes. Good. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hi, Brianna. Hi, everybody. All right, so we're in the world of Arendale. Ar Arendalian. Gorge, how are we supposed to get out of here? Oh, the labyrinth of ice. I hate this place. Ugh. Smart of me not... Well, I guess it's smart of me to start here. We're going to be here a while. Yep, we're gonna be here a while. Okay, so we're in the labyrinth of ice. That spin trick you did should oh, work again. Or pillars? Where's my uh? Where's my thingy, my bobber? The television's kind of loud. Hello, internet people. Hi, chat. How's it going? Well, hello. I don't know, I'm actually pretty excited about playing a new game tomorrow. Prince of Persia. Uh, even though we don't play as the Prince, and we play as a bodyguard, it still looks interesting. It's basically like Ubisoft's version of Dead Cells. But, you know, with Prince of Persia characters. Yeah. Although, it's a different Prince character. It's probably a guy who doesn't have any powers to begin with. I personally would have liked if it was a continuation of the OG... Or not OG, the 20-year-ago... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Sands of Time franchise, but I think Sands of Time is over. Aside from the remake that they're supposedly doing. <laughs> the remake that they're supposedly doing. Uh, that keeps not being remade. Ah! Okay, what, what, do you, what do you want me to do with this? Whoop, 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 whoop. Is this, is this doing something? Is is this is this having any effect on anything? I can't tell. Hoop. Oh, there's a chest here. That's something. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Brianna. Game scared you? I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong now, Amps? No way. It happened again. This person's channel that I just came across. Whoa. Look at this person's channel. This person's channel. This person's name is Exploring with Nug. This person does exploration videos. He explores places. He goes different places. He he looks at um, uh, cars that are found in the river. He looks at um, uh, he okay, he okay. he basically shows uh, firefighters helping um, get rid of forest fires and stuff. So this has nothing to do with gaming, nothing controversial, nothing. Mm -hmm. Look at his community section. 
Seems like subscribers on my channel are packing up and leaving. I cannot understand why. Got any ideas? I would love to know what is happening. Yeah. Is it the live streams I've been doing? Is it the videos I've been doing? Is it the hack? Let me know. So it's another big creator who got hacked and his channel got sabotaged. Look at this. Three days ago, yeah, 612,000 subscribers. This is the amount of subscribers that people always get hacked at. Between 500,000 and 800,000 subscribers. You, you cannot get between 500,000 and 800,000 subscribers without getting your channel hacked. And once it happens, everyone is leaving. Look at this. He he was doing really well on YouTube. Look at it. It says, it look at the look at the videos. If you want to know what your subscribers look at, every single subscriber his channel just recently got hacked. So they're all being nice to him now. Watch in five years, they're all going to start lying and saying that it's probably his content. He should stop complaining. Mm. I guarantee you. I guarantee. You, but look at some of these comments are like, if you want to know how your fans care about you, look at all the donations you're getting on Patreon. We are so supporting you through this difficult time. I just resubscribed after the hack, of course. I waited until you were unhacked. Mm -hmm. So this is happening to every YouTube channel between 500,000 and 800,000 subscribers. It, it is can. Literally... It can happen. No, they're doing it on purpose. It doesn't happen every channel. It's happening to a lot. You know I don't like generalized statements. I'm not generalizing. I'm just saying it's possible. Yep, it's possible. This is so weird, Luke. I'm screenshotting this person. Well, I'm going upstairs. Hi, Brianna. Thank you so much for the stream. Is that your nightshirt? Oh. Uh, Stop! I'm sorry I have an allergy. There's clean shirts that you can grab in that thingy. Well, you want me to die? I'm sorry, Link, he's not hyperallergenic, but... Look, this is not a coincidence. Okay. Hmm. I'm doing a story. I'm doing a story. I'm... I mean... I'm... I should do a video. This is what the video... This is the story. I'm gonna see how many other people between 600,000 and 800,000 subscribers are getting their channel yeah. hacked right when they're on their way to make a million subscribers. Yeah. Isn't it true? Isn't it true that YouTube does not answer any of your problems when you write them when something is wrong with your channel unless you have a million subscribers and is it not true that every channel between 500,000 and 800,000 subscribers just happens to be hacked before they make a million subscribers coincidence i think not why so loud i don't know I'm going, I'm going grab to grab a clean shirt I mean, I've had that theory for a couple oh years my now. Gosh, it's happening again! It's happening again! I'm in the twilight zone! Oh my gosh! Okay. Thank you, Ambi. I'm sorry that your yeah. Zelda shirt got corrupted by Link here. Think Amber is paranoid? No, I'm the one that has that theory because every channel that gets hacked. After they get hacked, like, they never recover. Look at my friend Abdallah. He was supposed to hit a million subs a while ago. After he got hacked, he's never really been close to a million again. No matter how hard he works, all his views went down. Uh, a lot of his videos got taken out of the search engine. Once you get hacked, your channel's kind of done. You can survive with memberships and super chats from fans, but you will never have your channel be the same ever again. Um, we were one of the first channels it happened to, and we've been limping on ever since. It's just reality. Um, most times when the big creators get hit, they quit. And, you know, it's just how it is. You just, you don't recover from it. Your growth is slower, your video views, like for new uploads are slower. Everything just kind of slows to a crawl. You know, it's just what it is. Uh, either YouTube is doing it deliberately or, you know. There's a lot of content creators that have been leaving too. Not, I mean, it's convenient some of the excuses they make, but also, I mean, ad revenue is the lowest it's been in 10 years. Every year, YouTube continues to lose money. Like, a lot. Um, and, you know, if there's less creators, then uh, they don't have to pay a lot of people, do they? 
I'm just saying. You know, it's economics. Okay, uh, Brianna, can I get some assistance? Because I can't remember how to get out of this labyrinth. I know I need to do something with these pillars, but... Uh, I can't remember what exactly I'm supposed to do with these pillars. Unless I'm supposed to be on the very top of said pillars. Am I going to be looking at Golden Sun? No one will watch it. Uh, if an ultimate wants to sponsor Golden Sun, I'll do one, like, this is what Golden Sun looks like, but, I mean, it won't... It'll do about as well as, uh... Uh, what's the name of that game? Do about as well as, uh, Tales of Symphonia, and Tales of Symphonia almost broke the channel. Sora has a secret crush on Kyrie. I mean, it's pretty obvious he has a crush on Kyrie. Sora, is, it's very evident that Sora loves Kyrie. Um, secret crush, crush would be uh, Axel likes uh, Kyrie. Like Axel's falling pretty hard for Kyrie actually, but she loves um, she loves uh, Sora. What am I doing wrong? Sora's only 16 years old. In Japan, the age of consent is 16. Like, other countries have different marriage ages. America's not the gold standard for the rest of the world. In Japan's um, marriage rate is 16. It's true. In Asia, people get married very young. They also don't leave, uh, you know how we change jobs all the time in America? In Japan, they actually, once they start their job, they're there till they die. They don't tend to leave their job. If you leave your job in Japan, you're looked at as kind of like a crazy person, like a delinquent. Because they'd be like, what is your reason for leaving? You don't like it? Why? I hate my job, I'm still there. They can't understand it, because they basically work themselves to the core. <clears throat> it's just how it is. I can't get out of here. Um, Tales of Symphonia, Final Fantasy, Stardew Valley is an ultimate stream. You can't count Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a VIP stream series. Just like Brianna's Kingdom Hearts is a VIP. Oh, Brianna's like, give me a second. Okay, I'm sorry, Brianna. I, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's something with these thingies. Even uh, Sora was like, this stuff, it's important. Can I grab the top of it? I thought there was a way to change this cave so that it, like... Uh... You twirl on this and then you can propel yourself higher up into the cave, at least I thought. Because there's nothing going on here, except for the Mickey Mouse thing. What was I supposed to do with the Mickey thing again? Picture? Camera! Let's yeah, see. camera. Got it. Photo. Take the photo. Does that does that not count? Um bring bring my No, I don't want I don't want Sora get it. No, Sora, get out of the picture. Nice. Yeah, thank you. There. Well, I'll help you find the well, thank you, one. Goofy. Uh -huh. Well I appreciate that. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> you hated Arendelle? I don't remember how to do it. It's been so long. I'm freaking out, Joseph. The walls are literally closing in, man. I feel the walls. Let me out of here. Oh. <laughs> Can I 
bounce off the pillars? I don't remember how to bounce off pillars. It's been way too long. I thought you did something with these. Nope. Nope. I mean, I might figure it out eventually, but maybe not. I thought, like, these... I could hold on to these longer and, like, rotate the dungeon or something. I don't know. Unless I'm supposed to break these. Uh. <laughs> no, I can't break them. I already did rotate this dungeon? Well, unrotate it. I don't want to rotate it anymore. Why does the music here remind me of um, an episode of Batman the Animated Series with winter, winter stuff? Just, it has that vibe to it. There's nothing over here, though. There was just a treasure chest here. There's nothing here! There's nothing here! I'm freaking out! Get me out of here! I did something wrong. I need to reload my save file. I know I did something wrong. Something's not right. Something is amiss. Something's not going backwards. Whatever happened to the Tales of Vesperia game? That was a VIP stream series. Talk to the VIP who uh, promoted it. They probably canceled because of financial reasons or they wanted another game. I don't know. I never know. I just, people pay for the game, I play it. Brianna's like, I want Kingdom Hearts. Here's the membership fee. It's like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. People change all the time. Uh, tomorrow is Stardew Valley because the VIP wants Stardew Valley. So, you know, I, I give the customer what they want. Guys, don't fight. I'm right here. I'm in the crosshairs. Hey, 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 hey. Back off, creep. Back off. Back. You have to go back into the other room and go up. Which way, Joseph? These are my rooms, buddy. I got a room in front of me. I got uh, a room to the side. I said back off, Link. Left. Left? Left. Okay, I went left. Now what? I'm not seeing anything here. Unless you know something I don't. Target the ledges? What ledges? ledges? Where are you guys seeing ledges? Oh! That's... That's really high up there. Okay, uh... How do I bring out my targeting thing again? Okay, there we go. Alright, sorry for being down here so long, guys. Wait, how do I even do that again? Oh, okay. I'm remembering how to do this now. Finally, something new and different! I mean, they don't call it a labyrinth for nothing, so... <laughs> Whatever you do, Sora, don't fall, you fool! Oh! Ground floor, or top floor, everybody off. Uh, uh, aha! Okay, new time code. Yay, we found it. Good job, everybody. Bad job, me. 
going up. Is smart? Um, no, not with this level. I didn't really remember how to play it. I don't have to be smart for an ultimate. I just have to show up and stream. There's no pressure for me. It's like, it's the best thing in the world, you know? Person pays for, you know, the, uh, the, uh, whatever, the revenue for the stream, and then I just do whatever. It doesn't matter if, like, 10 people show up or 100 or 200 people. It doesn't matter. Because I, I already made revenue on the stream. Uh, ultimate streams are like some of the most relaxing, stress-free things that we have as an option on this channel. It's, it's great. There's no pressure. The only time ultimate streams were difficult was when people like Leroy and Brady would basically troll me with Superman 64. That was where, and uh, some other people had me play Dark Tomorrow. But for the most part, I mean, a lot of you VIPs, you had me play not only really fun games, so thank you, Brianna, but also, you know, there are a lot of chill games. Like, we got a couple Harvest Moon things, we've got Stardew Valley, um, Amber plays uh, My Sims for somebody, you know? Uh oh. Whoops, I need to heal. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Time to die. Walk, walk, walk. Gotcha. Oh, you're still not dead. Well, that's annoying. Please die. Chariot of Lightning. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, I can't cure anymore. Uh, Donald, heal me, fool. Donald? Never mind, I'll heal myself. Oh, Donald's almost dead. Oh. Yeah, here we go. I might be under level here. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I think I'm under level. Help! Yeah, here we go. I'm going to die soon. Oh, Donald died. Well, that explains what happened. We're kind of under level. Heal. All right, that dude's toast. We might be able to pull this off. You guys good? Okay, we got one more dude to take care of. Oh, that's Donald. Sorry. Ow. Nicely done, guys. You think Sora and Kyrie will be together in Kingdom Hearts 4? I mean, Sora's kind of dead. I'm pretty sure Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to detail with a lot of square characters. I think they're going to do the World Ends With You characters. And the world ends with you is basically the afterlife, so if Sora's there, that's not good. But he'll come back, he's Sora. Sora's awesome. Sora! Go, Sora! The question is, if Square is trying to distance themselves from Disney, will Donald and Goofy show up in Kingdom Hearts 4, or will just Square characters interact with Sora and company? That is the question. Oops.
Da 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 da. Okay, so I activated something. What I activate? Activated something. Oh, I would love the Incredibles. When I was at um, California for the uh, Square uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, like, press event, somebody asked them about Star Wars and they said it would be too complicated. And they, they said, we wanted to add as many Disney characters as possible in the third one because if we make a fourth one, we're not going to have that many Disney characters. That's what the um, uh, Japanese director said when he was being interviewed by, um, I forget the publication that was there. There was a bunch of us there. Um, Maximilian Dude was there, Completionist was there. Uh, you had my company I worked for, Got Game, was represented there. A bunch of people. And... Uh, <laughs> The Japanese director looked very uncomfortable when, uh-oh, when they were talking about Marvel and Star Wars stuff. He said he'd love to, but that would be very hard to do. Because apparently Disney is very hard to work with. Disney didn't used to be hard to work with. Like, the first Kingdom Hearts games and the second one, they weren't like... I don't know what happened. Maybe blame Kathleen Kennedy, I don't know. But... Disney used to be a very chill company to work with. Gorge, how are we supposed to get out of here? We've got to find the next shot. And for whatever reason, I don't know, they've started their villain arc. Don't know. But <clears throat> when this game came out, the fact that they were kind of hesitant to talk about Star Wars and Marvel stuff and they looked uncomfortable, um, you know, I took that as kind of like, What's going on? Because, you know, Kingdom Hearts and Disney go hand in hand. So, obviously there was something going on. And people brought up The Incredibles. They brought up... I actually brought up The Incredibles when I was there. I, I got to ask a couple questions from my seat. I had a number on my seat, and I held up my hands, and they were like, What world would you love to see in, you know... I said, did you guys ever consider adding uh, The Incredibles into the world of Kingdom Hearts? because superheroes and, you know, that really cool 50s world aesthetic. And the uh, Japanese guy kind of laughed a little bit. And he was like, you never know. But when it came to outright Star Wars and Marvel stuff, they were just like, very like, nope. Maybe Pixar is chiller to work with, I don't know. Thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoop. It just echoes what, you know, developers said about working with Disney on that uh, Lego Star Wars, the, what was it called? Skywalker Saga. So many people at Traveler's Tales, quote-unquote, retired after that game was completed. And prior to that, they never had any issues with their company. So, and that game was in development a long time, but there's a lot of rumors swirling around that, you know, there was a lot of development woes and Disney problems. I'd believe it because I mean I see Disney as a villain personally. I don't I don't think they're a very good company anymore. Pretty toxic. I mean, what kind of company I basically saw Disney run into their villain arc when they completely capsized poor Avalanche Studios as well as their entire gaming division just because Disney Dreamlight or not Disney Dreamlight, sorry. Just because Disney Infinity was a little below projections they you know folded the entire company that was madness up until then no one heard of a you know a closure of game studios quite like that and it's not that 
the people who made Disney Infinity did anything wrong either. Like, their projections were just a little bit lower than what apparently the parent company expected. And they didn't even know the parent company wanted them to sell, like, I think it was like 3 billion. They sold 2.4 billion for Disney Infinity 3. So they were a billion off. And then their entire company got shut down. And not just them, Disney then took the opportunity to close all their gaming divisions in 2016. The only uh, company that they left in employ was um, Disney Interactive, which became a mobile studio. They just closed everything. It was a horror story. I knew so many people that uh, I got to meet at Avalanche and stuff like that. Uh, after the, the first Disney Infinity game, I met like most of the, the core staff members of Avalanche. And they were very gr they were nice people. They did a great job with their games, too. They had a lot of passion, and they had a small studio, too. They didn't have, like, a... wasn't, like, a massive, like, 200-member team or anything that made Disney Infinity 1 and 2. And all those people, just overnight, like, that was it. They got a phone call. Uh, we're basically dissolving your company. There will be no Disney Infinity 4 when... They were actually hard at work working on Disney Infinity 4. That's what stinks. They were already making uh, the fourth game. And they haven't even, they didn't even finish releasing all the characters that were still coming into the game. So, I mean, that sucked. Plus, you had the whole um, Disney Interactive that was making games on the side. And you had studios that were working on things like Epic Mickey, and all that stuff was just, like, shuttled. It was done. That's why Disney's a villain. And they never really gave a reason. They were just, like, projections were low. So it's like, we got rid of our entire division... All of our gaming companies that have been around forever. And we basically outsourced our projects to Gameloft. That's it. Gameloft was uh, one of the biggest uh, mobile game developers. And they partnered up with Gameloft after that. And they still work with Gameloft to this day, if you think about it. Gameloft makes a lot of Disney games. For both uh, console and for mobile. It's crazy. Here we go. I like Disney show and movies from the 90s and the mid-2000s, but I don't like Disney today. No, not really. The only reason I love Kingdom Hearts is because it incorporates a lot of fond memories of when Disney was great for me. Um, I like most of the Pixar characters that are in this. I like the classic Disney stories, like Aladdin and uh, Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, that kind of stuff. Little Mermaid. I would have loved to see... The Incredibles, though, because I think The Incredibles is probably my favorite Disney Pixar thing next to Toy Story. Yeah. Toy Story was great, don't get me wrong, but I mean, The Incredibles just like hit so much harder for me because you know it was right up my alley because I love superheroes, you know. And that movie was just like it was so criminal that we had to wait, I think it was almost 10 years before the sequel, it might have been longer than 10 years between. Um, the Incredibles 1 and 2. I think there was at least a, a decade between them. Almost. Because uh, I believe... Uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm trying to remember. I think The Incredibles came out in 2004. And The Incredibles 2 was in 2017? 2016? Maybe? I don't think it was 2014. I think it was much later. Going up! Oh my gosh, the Atlantis with Michael J. Fox? Yes. Next floor. There you go. That's the title, guys. Kingdom Hearts 3 Part 7. Cold doesn't bother me, but labyrinths do! <laughs> oh, that's a great title. <laughs> oh, 
Um, I think The Incredibles is perfect for... It's got jokes for adults, and it's you got, got some dark storytelling, but also, like, kids can relate to it, too. It's like... It's perfect. It's a family movie because it's about family. It's all about family. It's got, you know, some pretty mature elements to it, but... Uh... I would have no problem with letting my kids watch the Incredibles movies. I think that'd be good for them. <laughs> they could learn to watch out for syndromes in their life. I don't know. I know, isn't that like one of the best titles ever? That's amazing. Well, I mean, show of hands, how many people like Labyrinth? And not the movie Labyrinth, I mean, like, Labyrinths in general. Maze dungeons. How, how many people? Because technically the water dungeon in Ocarina of Time is a labyrinth. Technically. It's a water labyrinth. And a lot of you guys don't like Ocarina of Time's water dungeon. This must be the exit. I found the exit? I did not. I found the... No, I did not. It's too soon. Um, would I want a, uh, a Kim Possible movie? Uh, if you got back the original writing team, yeah. Uh, if you had someone from Disney write it now, no. Kim Possible will be completely... I could tell you how a Kim Possible movie would go today. You wouldn't like it. She would... She and Ron, for one, would never get together. She would, like make fun of him tremendously, and she would act superior because she's a woman. It wouldn't be like how it was back in the day when Kim Possible came out where, you know, both girls and guys were equal. And even though Kim was the star, she never belittled or made fun of Ron. They were best friends that later became, you know, a couple. Um, this day and age, they would punch down on Ron. He would be the butt of all the jokes and not, like, in on the jokes. It wouldn't be handled tastefully at all. And you would probably have, like, all kinds of weird messaging in the movie, you know, talking down to your audience, finger-wagging, everything Disney does today. Uh, the PR for the movie would be, like, Brie Larson quality. Or, like, uh, who's that? Who's the girl playing Snow White? Girl plays, is playing Snow White has said some of the craziest stuff before she had a PR agent. Uh, things like, uh, this guy is playing the prince's mo role in the movie, but... We're probably going to cut all his stuff out of the movie because, you know, it's Hollywood, baby. I don't need no prints. It's like, what are you talking about? You're Snow White. The whole thing between Snow White is that she ends up with the prince. It's a core aspect of the, the movie you're playing. If you hate the movie so much, don't be Snow White. You know, there was nothing wrong with the fairy tale that they had to basically, you know, hack it to pieces. What I love is you can see the clear difference between... Uh, before she had a PR agent, you know, screening her press stuff, and after, because she acts like a completely different person now. And it's not that she's grown up. You go to her YouTube channel, she's still crazy. But, like, her now, um, press things that she does talking about the Snow White movie, it's like watching a completely different person. It's like going from Big Bad Harv to, uh, you know, Harvey Dent. <laughs> you can, you can tell. <laughs> Which is good, because, I mean, when you do movie PR, you want to try to sell the movie to the public. You don't want to do stuff that makes you look like, you know, a pretentious jerk. You're trying to act like a princess or whatever. You, you have to act the part, you know? It's not hard. Middle tier? It's just the middle tier! Wait a sec. Wait, is this... Did I go backwards or forward? It says middle tier.
I went backwards? No! No! I went backwards! Oh, okay. Well, Donald says this was the exit. No, but I'm a firm believer <coughs> if you got, like, the core writing staff, like, the core writers back from Kim Possible, and you teamed with Pixar, you could make an amazing Kim Possible movie. And Kim Possible is timeless. She's a character that can easily translate well to whatever decade you're in, as long as you handle the character with respect. You're golden. This is middle tier again, so this is wrong. I don't even know how I ended up here. The orb was my exit? How do I use the orb, Brianna? Do I just punch it? Uh... Oh! Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, is the song coming up? Yeah, we'll have to mute that. Which is too bad. See her? I think she might have gone up there. Well, I think direction. she might be there. What? Okay, come on. After the Queen. Oh no, if I don't if I don't mute the song, uh, the stream will get terminated. Um I remember Square telling me they didn't want me to play the song. Because, you know, the song is copyright. Not only that, but, I mean, it... Apparently, the... Square did such a good job recreating the iconic moments from Frozen that YouTube's content ID system believes that you're actually playing the, the part of the movie where... Frozen movie where, um, you know, uh, the Ice Queen is singing. Like, they recreated it. That's how good... I mean, Square is, like, one of the best game developers in the world. But sometimes they do too good of a job. And, you know, if you're trying to skirt around copyright and they recreate an iconic Disney moment that is from, like, a Pixar film, nine times out of ten, you're going to hit with copyright. And your video could be blocked. Because, you know, YouTube's content ID system can't tell the difference between an actual scene from the Pixar movie and a scene from Kingdom Hearts. With that, you know, iconic moment. Um, case in point, the scene with Eugene and um, Rapunzel when they're on the boat and they're doing that stuff. Even though the scene is a little bit different and I muted the, the music or whatever, uh, it still got hit with content ID. And they said, you're using a scene from the Tangled movie. It's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> It's a scene from the Kingdom Hearts game. But I will also tell you guys another thing about Square. Even though I think Square is awesome, I don't like their PR. Because if a YouTuber has um, copyright issues, Square's not going to do anything to help you. They'll warn you and say, don't play this music. But if something happens to your video, they don't un unleash it. Or uh, unlock it. They, they give you heads up that it could potentially get in trouble, but once you get in trouble, they don't help you. And they're nice people and everything. That's their policy because Square is very strict because um, Square in Japan basically runs everything, and Japan doesn't like YouTubers. <laughs> because copyright laws are different in Japan. So, I mean... And Japan will never like YouTubers. That's that's the thing. I mean, that's, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And I'm still a Square partner, actually. But, you know, I have to adhere to certain policies of theirs or I get in big trouble. Stinks, but every developer is different. 
There are some game developers that are very lax and they're like, okay, uh, we'll help you with content ID or, you know, we'll unblock your video or, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can to help you out. And there are others that, like, don't do this or else. You know, like, cause and effect. The game industry is a very interesting place. Everybody has different rules and regulations and, you know, ways they want you to go about stuff. I am still under level, holy cow. Ride the lightning! I actually need to be hitting up square again, because I need to, um... I need to get in their, uh, their list for the Final Fantasy game this year. Although if I'm not sponsored by Square, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because I can get the game overseas, like, if, if the, the game doesn't arrive, uh, early enough. I can get it at least two days early from that person I know. Ah! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mom and Pop Stores. Ah, Mom and Pop Stores are a YouTuber's best friend. Especially if you don't have, like, a partnership with a game developer. But a lot of game developers don't actually give you the game several weeks in advance anymore. Very few do. Do you know why? <laughs> because people took advantage of said game developers. Nintendo actually used to be amazing. They used to give you the game, like, two weeks early. And then you had a bunch of YouTubers after we left their program. It wasn't even like a month after Amber and I were let go by Nintendo that some person who came and replaced us broke NDA and they released an entire game that was like two months before the street... Or not two months, it was two weeks before the street date. And Nintendo went nuke. And then after that, they basically, you know, it was like a one-strike thing. Instead of getting the game a week early or two weeks early, Nintendo's new policy was they would give you the game the day it came out to their influencers. And I was I was always thinking, it's like, if Nintendo hadn't fired us, who knows where the uh, ambassador program would be? You know, maybe Nintendo creators still would have gotten the game like two weeks early or a week early instead of a day early. Because the person who replaced us was the one that broke NDA. He was one of the people that uh, came in after we were let, you know, we were let go. I'm just saying, it's fun to theorize, I don't know. It's possible that person still would have been brought in, I don't know. <clears throat> it's always fun to speculate, though. It's like, what if, what would have happened if we were still with Nintendo? Because we never broke NDA with them. It's still, like... I scratch my head. You know, sometimes thinking about, like, why were we let go? Uh, their reasoning doesn't make any sense. It's like, yes, I was critical of their games, and, you know... They would have liked me to be more favorable of things, but... It wasn't in the contract. The contract that I signed... And I knew them for a long time didn't state that I had to have talking points and I had to do this and that. It just said that I needed to um, cover their games and uh, not break NDA and not be mean-spirited or something. Not not be like... Uh, I forget the wording they use. Be respectful, I guess. But nowhere did they say I couldn't criticize. And my, my uh, critique of a game was never like harsh. It was just like, you know, this doesn't work because of A, B, and C. I still think I did a, a pretty favorable uh, review of Star Fox Zero, even though the game was mediocre. I mean, I said the game was mediocre, but I wasn't like, quote-unquote, mean-spirited. Uh, I treated uh, the Nintendo games I covered that year, Star Fox Zero and um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, like I would any other game. So... And those were the games that basically got me booted out of the program. <laughs> and all I did was I was just honest. That was it. Just like, eh, this isn't very good. 
But I wasn't, like, making long rant videos, like, yelling at Nintendo, like, How dare you make something like this? This is terrible! Just like, eh, it's not very good. That's all I said. It's like, eh. Could have been better. Oh well. And that was enough to get me the boot. They're like, nope. I wish they would have told me beforehand, though, because Amber and I were so excited that we were going to get the Nintendo Switch early with everybody else. And we ended up having to buy the Switch, and they sent us a bunch of digital games. And then when we asked them, like... I forget what... We had, like, one phone call with them after the Switch came out, and that was it. Like, I think it was, like, the week the Switch came out is when we got fired. We had our evaluation, and they're like, you're done. It was like, uh, okay. And unfortunately, when you get done, you get blacklisted. So, for years afterwards, even after those people were gone, we actually tried to go back into the Nintendo program, because Nintendo would reach out to us, and they'd be like, they would talk to our PR agency, and the PR agency would get back to us, and they'd be like, yeah, here are the YouTubers that uh, work for our agency, which, I mean, it's just the YouTubers were just us, because it was our PR guy. That's how good he was. He was able to sweet-talk anybody. Uh, but anyway, we would get a call from Nintendo, and everything was going well, and I kid you not, uh, we would be on the phone, my PR guy would be in a conference call with uh, the, the new um, community manager at Golan Harris or Nintendo, and everything was going great, and they're getting ready to, you know, get our address and stuff like that, and we said our real names, and Nintendo hung up. And I was like, holy crap. Everything was going good, too, because they're like, oh, we're going to be back in the brand ambassador program. And the dude was like, wow, you're, you know, your channel speaks for itself. You do great with our Nintendo products. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, we gave him our name. And then, uh, that was it. Like, he said, one minute. And then he came back and he said, oh, I'm sorry, this isn't going to work out. And he hung up on us. It sucked. Snow glows white on Mute it now! A kingdom of isolation. Looks, I'm the queen! The wind is howling like the swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in. Heaven knows I've tried. Should we shatter it? Don't let me in. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you've always wanted to be. Conceal. Don't feel. Don't let them know. My gosh. Well, now they know. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. So, this sequence is very similar to the original Pixar uh, film. So, what happens is, when this game came out, YouTubers were getting hit with copyright. Um, because, I mean, Square did an amazing job. It does look like a Pixar film, doesn't it? This way! I'm actually wondering why I don't have the yellow, uh, you know, copyrighted materials being shown because it's very similar to the actual song. Ice powers! That's impressive how she does this. She's actually able to transform it from, like, regular snow into, like, beautiful ice architecture. That was always kind of cool. Uh... Square's a bunch of trolls for putting this in? Why? It's a... Well, I mean, they don't like... <laughs> Japan doesn't like YouTubers, so maybe they wanted people to get copyright strikes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is a key moment in the Frozen movie, so of course Square was going to throw it in. Think about all the other uh, really popular moments from Pixar films and Disney films that made it into Kingdom Hearts. This is like one of the biggest aspects of uh, Frozen, the first one. 
It's it's famous. I think that's the original actress singing, isn't it? Oh, there it is! Heads up! We've detected a video! In your stream belongs to someone else! They did it again! Ah! Your stream may be terminated! Holy crap! I can't skip it. I can't skip it. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Sorry, Brianna. Wow. I don't know what we just saw, but wow. That was Elsa? She went different. And a lot happier, too. <sighs> Let's say hi. Please don't tell me that you're spying on her now. Oh, Larkseen! <laughs> don't turn this around on us. You're following her. Ooh, look at you get all sassy. Okay, I'll admit, Elsa is a person of interest to us. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new seven hearts. Gotta make sure, though. Fortunately, we're in the best position to tell. Can't pick out that special glimmer, unless you're standing in the shadows. And maybe Elsa doesn't have it. I mean, just look how icy her palace is, made of magic she forced herself to keep hidden until now. What if it's dark magic? Elsa would never rely on the darkness. Actually, it's still too early to call. Depends on how she sees it. If she believes her magic is darkness, that's what it will become. Accepting her power, whatever it is, is the only way she can set her heart free. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. It's her choice to make, not yours. You know, I'm starting to understand why she gave you the cold shoulder. No, I won't get a cease and desist letter. They'll just terminate the stream. We'll find out after the stream's over. Then stop trying to be her hero. Let her figure things out her own way! Whoa, gorge! Whoa! Whoopsies. Well, the termination notice is gone. Uh, wait, no, it's not. That's annoying. One sec. Huh? Donald! Goofy! Are you okay? I guess they didn't like Shatner. Let it go. Let it go. I can't take this feeling anymore. Let it go. I think we should probably go check on Elsa. And make sure Larkseen was wrong about her magic. Yeah. But don't you tell her what Larkseen said? Huh? Why not? Well, to keep the order. Yeah, order. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Wait, fellas. Do you hear that? And just parroting Rocket Man. Huh? I'm a Rocket Man. There's an avalanche coming. We need to get out of the way before we're overtaken by the snow. Run! Goofy! Donald! We'll climb aboard! Right! Here we go! 
Shield surfing. You know somebody at Nintendo played this game and they were like, Wait, did this come out before or after uh, Breath of the Wild? Was this game after Breath of the Wild? Or before? After? Never mind. Square took shield surfing. Oh, I can jump. Cool. Shield surfing. You missed. Hey! Whoa! Party on, dudes. How's it going? Oh my gosh, she's gonna eat my face! Whoa! Back off, creep! Yo! Oh, we're gonna die, Sora! Oh! Can I heal? Nope. Oh, now we're gonna have to hear that annoying beeping noise. Ah! Can't see! Oh! Laser! Yeah, I don't know if the stream's actually gonna get terminated or not. Uh, it could. Way to go, Square. Snow surfing. No problem. I mean, I told you guys that that scene is, like, really famous. <laughs> it's my fault. I should have skipped it. Totally tubular, dude. Snow surfing. <laughs> hey, let's go. I got this. I got this. That's right, I got this. Shield surfing. Watch out. Um, besides the uh, cringe factor, how bad was the uh, Kim Possible live action movie? That was on uh, Disney uh, a couple years ago. Like, did anybody see it? How did it stack up compared to the original show? Or was it so bad it was just, like, unwatchable? You never saw it? Okay. I'm curious, because I'm a big fan of Kim Possible. And I heard that uh, the original team was at least consultants on that, but... Being a consultant doesn't necessarily mean they're going to do what, <laughs> what what the original team wants. So, A consultant is a nice way of being like, we, we got the original's blessing, and we had them involved, but we did whatever we wanted. That's what a consultant is. Ow! Your laser hurt me. Oh! I made it. Next mini game. And I'm free. Free falling. Uh oh. Next section. Let's shred some powder! Ha 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 ha! Whoa! Oh, this isn't so bad. Dun 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 dun. Yahoo! Did they even say shred powder anymore, or was that a 90s thing? Whoa! 
Ah, oh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was one of my favorite Let's Plays, I think. It was really fun. Thank you, Brianna, for sponsoring this. I'm having a blast. I hope you are. Yeah! I know what game's really fun to play? Steep. I like Steep. They never really did anything with that game. I really thought Ubisoft was going to do more with that, but nope. Wow! Yow, gorge! Oh, I got hit by an icicle. Alright! Um, since, uh, Steamboat Willie is public domain, would you guys like to see me parody it? Uh-oh. Dragons! Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Not again. I don't know how parody works, though, with that. I've heard people getting in trouble, even though it's um, public domain. Like, Disney is fighting people on it. There was one big YouTuber that had a million subscribers who got in big copyright trouble. Who did a parody, uh, I think it was like a week or two ago. So, I mean, I think you can only, like, parody part of it or something. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Get him! Yeah, I mean, well, they're Disney's trying to fight um, people over doing either parodies or whatever of Steamboat Willie, even though it's in the public domain. Like they're, you know, just not mm, letting people deal with Mickey or anything like that, even though it's all. Ah, public domain. No way. They're fighting people, and Disney has deeper pockets than most people. Sora! Ice dragons. I'm under level, I'm gonna die. Ow. Ow. My friends give me my power. My name is Ike. <laughs> Hit this fool. Ow. Oh, he doesn't have very much H. No, oh, never mind. He has a lot of HP. What am I talking about? Get him! How do I target enemies? Oh. It's over! It hasn't begun! Ow. Heal! Get him! That's my plan. Get him. Yeah, yeah! How do you like that? Ow, ow, ow. He's still not dead! Ow, oh, okay. I see what's going on. You have another life bar, don't you? Hi there. Take 
Hey, where good. exactly did you go? Oh, there you are. See ya! Wouldn't want to be a sucker! He's still not dead! Of course not! Why Why wouldn't he be dead? I'm in trouble, though. Heal! Ooh, that was a cheap shot, and you know it. Alright, one's down. Two to go! You're the lucky guy. Dragon Pegasus. Pegasus Dragon. Zappity zap. Don't come back. Get him? Just doesn't want to go away. Ow. Ow. Uh oh. Get him, you're almost done. Got him. I'm underpowered right now. I am so under level. Double flight. Press the uh, circle while jumping or falling to do a double jump. Or fly or something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. So long, ice dragons. Oh no. Why didn't you just take out your shield? Could have done more shield surfing. Okay. Well, that's something. They actually improved the cloud version on Switch? That's awesome, Joseph. Pretty colors. There's blue and green. Ooh, I love green. And look, black. Ah! Just like my buttons. <laughs> Silly spiky grass, give me back my foot. <laughs> Snowman? It's a snowman. Hola. Huh? Uh, did you see that snowman? Snowman? Yeah. And here's the funny thing. He was walking and talking. Huh? Sora hit his head. Everybody knows snowman can walk. You must have imagined it. Huh. I thought he was real. Well, maybe we'll see him again. But if we don't get going, we'll never reach Elsa's palace. Hmm. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, wait, never mind.
Oh, my clothes changed for a second. I kind of forgot about that. Wait, 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 wait. That's a save point. Go back. Linky, you're going to fall over if you do that. Warmest, best person ever. <laughs> wow! See, I told you, a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> what, what do you know? You were right. I want to look. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You really are alive. What's making you walk? Uh, mm -hmm. Um. Well, <laughs> I guess uh, my feet. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? Nope. Never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiky. Spiky? My hair? <laughs> Wait, why don't I get a color hmm? too? My name is Sora. And I'm Dragon Black. Oh, and I'd be Goofy the Green. I'm Anna. And I know they're strangers, but they seem pretty nice to me. I'm Kristoff, and this is Sven. <laughs> nice to meet you. So, where are you guys all headed? We're going to try and put an end to this crazy winter. And to do that, we need to find my sister Elsa. Elsa's... your sister? What a coincidence. We're going to see her too. Huh? You know Elsa? Yeah, we ran into her up the mountain. Um... Do you mind telling us what's going on around here? We're worried. We think your sister might be in some trouble. Trouble? Are you sure? <sighs> All right. I know we just met, but Sora, was it? I get the feeling that you're someone to trust. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I just hope you like long stories. Sure. You know, I should go find some moss for Sven. He's looking a little hungry. Come on, Sven. Hey, wait, 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 wait. what's going on? Tell me, is something happening? <sighs> Come on, Olaf, you're with me. Sure, Sven. Reindeer Sven too? The reindeer is Sven. Oh, how uh. fun. <laughs> When we were little, my sister and I used to be really close. Wait, is this another song? But then, one day, for some reason, Elsa just shut me out. <laughs> Elsa? You're not doing another song, are you? Do you oh, come on! Nope. Sorry. I don't want another copyright. Please, I know you're in there. People are asking where you've been. Oh, crap. They say have courage. And I'm trying to. I'm right out here for you. Just let me. Uh, I was trying to skip the. You know what? It's just you. No. There you go. No. 
upset her the way I did. Elsa ran away because she was frightened. I have to bring her home. I'm sure she knows how much you love her. And I think maybe that's why she looks so sad. It's just like when Riku disappeared. He thought he had to push me away to protect me. Maybe Elsa's the same. If anyone can help her, it's you. Huh? <sighs> Thanks. Hey guys, I need oh. some help. Huh? <sighs> What's the problem? This. Hmm. Huh? It's not a stick. Well, it is a stick, but it, it, it's Olaf's arm. He's falling apart again. Falling apart? How come you're not upset? Oh, it's no big deal. He's a snowman. We'll just put him back together. What? Really? You can do that? Well, I gotta say this. <laughs> the pieces can't be too far from here. Could you guys help us look for him? Of course. Okay, so this is, uh, what's the sister's name again? Anna. Elsa and Anna, right? Anna. Okay, let's go. Oh, what's his face? Who knows where he rolled off to? Oh, the snowman. Hey, I'm over this way. Huh? Yep, that's Olaf's voice. Linky, what are you doing? Who cares about Olaf? I don't care. Why don't we look up above the waterfall? Sven? Kristoff? It's quiet, yes. but I can definitely hear his voice. This might be Olaf. There's only one way to find out. Hey, I'm over this way. That sounds like Olaf. Whoa. Would I call this cozy or snug? Mm, I'm gonna go with snug. Okay, getting dizzy. Wait, how do we get him out of here? The whole world's doing somersaults. Oh, there's his head. Hi, Sora. Hey, Olaf, there you are. I was starting to think nobody'd ever come along and find me. Well, I'm glad we did. Well, I think I might have seen Olaf's legs wagging it. Look! Legs! Hey! We must have startled them. You can't hear the game. I love the music, don't get me wrong, but it's too loud. Oh, I can't do anything about the music. Oh, you can't change it.
<laughs> yes, I can fix uh, electricity power. I, I have I have some type of powers that I can I can control when the electricity goes out. <laughs> I'm weather wizard. Yes. Why did we lose power? We don't know. Everyone in our neighborhood lost power. There's no major snowstorm or anything either, so that's weird. Yeah, we just lost it for a reason. Mm hmm. Yep. PS, the uh, PlayStation's running a little wonky. Wait, does that mean I have to go meet Anna all over again? Yep. You wanna build a snowman? No. We're gonna skip this, guys, so we can get back to where we were. I was trying to get to sleep and I was watching random videos on YouTube and um, then I was coming back to share, actually I did share your video and I was just trying to get to sleep and in the middle of me watching some kids singing this song, I was watching these cats sing a song first and I was watching these kids sing a song and um, then like, uh, basically, uh, I don't know, right in the middle of that, the power just, the lights went off. And Hey, I'm over this so way. I, I huh? the and I, um, yep, that's Olaf's voice. Like, how deep is your love from the Bee Gees? I'm listening wow. to it. The inside of snow and looks so much like the outside. The one person is playing guitar or whatever. And I was just listening to that and I came down the stairs and I'm playing that on my phone. Hey, Olaf, like, you should there you are. I was starting so to I think nobody'd that. ever come along and find me. Well, I'm glad we did. Because I don't actually have a lot of like like battery oh, operated like, like power sources or candles I like didn't know where they were, so I just found my one flash in the door mm -hmm. and it hardly had any battery in it and I was just what? asking Lisa, wow. Do you know where the batteries are? And I was trying to find it because the battery was flickering. And I also said I'm thinking I'm gonna sleep down here because I don't want to sleep over the dark. Why don't we look up over the waterfall? So I was going to sleep down on the couch. This might. He's using the couch right now. And, um, it is kind of hard to spot him in all this right. snow. It's weird. And, hey, and I looked outside and I picked up everybody we must have startled him. Black, all the, well, actually, there's a little bit of moon and starlight huh? out there. So inside, I it caught was them. Yeah. Great job, Sora. Think that's all of him? Well, I'll know what to do next. Why? Wait, why does everybody look all lovely? It's not us, Olaf. You're about to tip over. Huh? Whoa, oh no! <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that was wrong. We need to fix Olaf again. Olaf falls apart a lot, but I'm still a little worried. About halfway down there you was sure your you lunch. never slid past my body? Ever? How do we fix Olaf? It was from what went Olaf. I know, but I'm feeling a little broken up right now. So that's not his correct body piece. They can't have gone too far. Yep. It's good that knowing yeah. I could have believed that the stream was still going. Um, because like as the power yeah, it's was kinda hard to spot off, him in all this I snow. Told Luke, I said, Your stream is actually still going. It's hmm? just and you said it is. It's so a sure. Um Sorry, what about Because Luke was sitting here and he's like, it's so unfortunate. 
can't be on a stream. He can't have gone too like far. Out. Even when it kept flickering, it was like flip the stream. We can't just leave Olaf in so pieces. We just, I think, well, it took a minute to get the computer back. Mm -hmm. well, Brianna says about halfway down there will be a left in the right kind of hard to spot him in all this middle snow. Piece will be found there. Thank you, Brianna. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's not no storm. Well, there was rain, but there's no massive storm. They can't have gone too far. Yes, sweetheart, I can take this photo you put up for this I can make this into a thumbnail. It is kind of hard to spot him in all this snow. I like how you put it as. I really like how you put the picture I like. I like it. I think this picture. Is this him? Well, it's the right shape. But it looks huge. Think that's all of him? Yep. Well, I will know what to do next. Anna, question. When did you get so small and tiny? Um, actually, Olaf, it's more that you're really big now. <gasps> you're right! What a great view! Hmm, I think we did it wrong. Aw, but I like being tall. Keep looking. Hmm. <laughs> up and find Olaf's parts. Uh. I'll help you look. Thanks, Sven, but we've got this one. Wait, what does Sven sound like in this? Who knows where he rolled off to? Oh, okay. I, I thought I thought his voice sounded weird for a second. Uh, maybe you talk to the, the... Olaf falls apart a lot, but I'm still a little worried. No, I don't think you can talk to me. Sven is the only person. I think I got separated from my tummy near a slidey pipe. Oh, right. Sven is the only person. Hmm. Right hmm. Maybe you're talking to the main dude. The can of dogs, too. Hmm. And the guy in the music store's name is Sven. Did you ever go to that? The only Sven I remember is from Voltron. No, the guy's name was really Sven. Hmm. It is kind of hard to spot him in all this snow. The body is too big, says, says Oe. Yeah, that body is too big. Definitely Oe. Hey, this is Olaf's body. Button and all. What's his middle of his body? Think that's all of him? Yep. Oh, I don't know what to do next. They really needed to balance the, um music and the voices though you can barely hear the voices yeah sweetheart and that should do it you sure something's not missing nah looks right <sighs> wow i feel so much better wait where's my cute new nose the one anna gave me uh sora do you have his notes? I don't think so. Well, yeah, didn't see it. <gasps> oh. Mm -hmm. Sven. <laughs> Someone had to pick it up. You're right, buddy. Thanks for finding it and not actually eating it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I love having a nose. Hey, Kristoff, how'd all this happen anyway? You know, I'm not sure. These weird animals, well, they were more like monsters. They just crashed into Olaf. Oh, I knew it. The Heartless again. Yeah. The Heartless. Hmm. And I thought the wolves around here were bad. Kristoff, look! Oh, the evil things. They're back. No, 
I've already fallen apart today. We know how to handle them. Anna, Kristoff, keep going. Okay. Wait, what? Did you want to hear what Brianna said? Yeah, yeah. For the final piece, head left to the large ice wall, run up it, and then turn right, ignoring the piece in front of you. About halfway down, there will be a ledge on your right. Jump up to it, and his middle piece will be found there. Awesome, thank you so much, Brianna. <laughs> Good to see you, Julia and Brianna, Alex, and everyone. And you guys are all doing well over here. And, uh, uh, Batman 01. Good to see you, Chad, Sad, and Tim Miller. Good to see you. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Katie, Anime Go. Good to see you, Hi. Um, Twilight 75, Alex, I would be fine. And, um, Jacob, Hawaii, and Zachary. No, I, I haven't got the shoes. Heal. Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to watch that video, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry the power went out. You still you feel better now? Uh oh. Unfortunately, I won't. Um, I'm just saying, Obriana, because this stream was like hit with like almost a termination thing because of the frozen stuff, we can't actually edit out. Uh, the long break um, where the game just disappears for a while. All we can do is have the time codes because the problem with copyright claims is you can't um, you can't edit a video. <laughs> so yeah. and we're not gonna you know on upload the video and re-upload it because people won't see it. Mm. This guy takes his cats and finds meowing mm -hmm. in a weird way. And he auto tunes it and has the cat scream. Mm -hmm. Like, and then meow. And it's really. And he plays my book for the ukulele and has the cat like singing in harmony with the cat. It's kind of cool. It's really cute. I posted some of it. And then I got introduced to all the other music. Yeah. <laughs> have to sleep. Yeah. I mean, you were. I sleep, like, the oh yeah, you were sure. You were sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was born. I mean, you so were. You were done. You were done. I don't know if that turkey's still good, honey. I tried to have some tonight. It's kind of slimy. I didn't get a chance to make it. We better catch up. Sorry. Yeah. I, did get, I did make bacon. Hmm? I will try to have some bacon. It's like a pound and a half of it. Reunite with Anna. How do you spell Christo? I think Christoph is C H R I S T O F F. It's like Christophe. It's like spelling Christmas, but instead of the M A S, it's O F F. C H R I S T O F F. Okay. Thank you. I hope there's a save point because I don't want to do that again. It's all good, Luke. I understand. This is real. What I was trying to tell Brianna is the uh, the thing that I love about Ultimate Streams is like there's no pressure for the for us as streamers because like the revenue is already taken care of. So it's like regardless of what happens on the stream, like we can just have fun and not worry about anything. So I came I came across a video about the difference between girl and guy cats. Mm. And 
it's actually quite normal for guy cats to be a lot bigger than gold cats. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It said in the video that they can be like several times bigger. Because okay. they're, they're much bigger than girl cats in the wild. Mm. And also his face to be like wider mm -hmm. and larger mm -hmm. and also him to have more muscle in the body. That's normal mm. for guy cats. So so girl cats are supposed to be more dainty, feminine. Their faces are usually much smaller. And many times a girl cat is much smaller than a guy cat. Like the guy can be like twice as big or more. Than so we're just cat. not used to it because we've had girl cats for like a decade. Yeah, so actually yeah. Link is actually possibly a normal size for his thing. Mm. It's just that... It's just that... Um, we've had so many girl cats, so girl cats are small. Mm. So that's why even though Zelda's an adult, she's still smaller than Link. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. It said in the video that guy cats, um, they can have a much larger face. Like girl cats have a smaller face, which is through Zelda, where her little face is very small and dainty. Mm -hmm. um, also, guy cats' body can be much more muscular, and mu they can be they can be several times larger than a girl cat, the same age. So it's like they can be twice as big or more. So I actually saw some videos and yeah, the guy cats was like huge compared to their the, their girl counterpart that was the same. Hmm. Um, same like um, uh, what do you call it? Same uh, yeah. um, breed. And I didn't get to finish the video, but I guess they said the guy. They said that a breed will a breed of the cat actually influences um, the the personality sometimes, but also. Guy, if it's a guy or a girl. Of course, Brianna knows a lot about that. I mean, the video may be long, but, um, Yeah, I forgot. We've got our resident cat person, Brianna. She's retired, though. She is a, um, she's a people doctor now. Yeah, you know, people use that. Um, you are right about the 16% done. In this world, you have to fight the big snowman who, the bodyguard of the castle, and the and heartless wolf near Arendelle. Thank you, Brianna. Appreciate that. Hi, King J Dog. Hi, um, uh, Batstroke. We have a couple of pink pineapples. Oh, wow. I didn't even know there were pink pineapples. So, yeah. So Lin's personality will be different than his own personality because he's a guy. And he was. I haven't gone watch the rest of the video, but I don't want to. But yet the show has all kinds of girls and guy cats actually even sit in line different too. Like they have different manners. Like the old cats a lot of times have more gentle manners. So is it normal that it keeps beating Zelda up? I don't know, I just was watching one random like, 10 minute video. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know. Well, well, they fight a lot. Well, I mean, your dad said that it was one of the girls that it gets to do that. I mean, yes, but. Um, hey, Brianna. Brianna, um, I have a question for you about cats. Um, since you know about them a lot, I was, it, and if you don't know, that's alright, but is it normal for girl and guy cats to fight a lot? Because, um, Shadow and Zelda, when Shadow was still here, um, when she passed away, but when our two girl cats were here together, they kind of fought at the beginning, but then they quickly got along and they didn't really fight anymore. They didn't fight as well. But, um... But Zelda and Link, like, they fight like every day. And Link never learns, like, he all, like, he never stops bothering her, even though she's clearly explaining him that she doesn't want to be bad at anything. She so does. I don't know, like, uh, 
Yeah, so yeah, you know, is that like normal with growing body fats? Okay. Brianna says yes, Amber. Okay, thanks, Brianna. Worried life might be a bad boy. Yeah, so I guess it's just normal though. They, they have different temperaments, I think. Come on! I guess like Link is like little Simba, he wants to play fight, and Zelda wants to relax. Thanks. Thank you. over the other says Brianna. Also, like, there is one kind of problem is that Luke's allergic to Link and he's not allergic to Zelda because Zelda's hypoallergenic being a Russian blue, so Zelda doesn't bother Luke's allergies being in his bedroom, like, where Luke sleeps, but Luke does bother Luke's allergies. So, Link's kind of excluded from the bedroom, but Zelda, he can go in every other room. Yeah, he can go in every other room, but Zelda can go in and, and basically snuggle on Luke while he goes to sleep. But Link can't because if Link tries to snuggle on um, Luke, then I need a place where I can breathe. He can't breathe. Well, I mean, you know, when you sleep, I mean, you Just take keep moving. Breaths, you warm up. It's, it's always good, you like, when people with cat allergies, they have at least one room that's completely no cat. That way you have a, a safe haven. Yeah. Yep, I, yeah. yep, I can't wait to watch your video for your light show, Tim. That's great. Luke J. Bryan says, this game is a great choice, Brianna. I'm so glad you picked this. Definitely. Brianna's been sponsoring stuff for a while actually she did she's done several series and also what's great about when Brianna sponsors us she helps us through and also is playing the game with us while she works on certain things and and she builds Legos and stuff. Hope we find some ingredients around here yeah, I like I like how I like how you build Legos and like you do artistic things Brianna it makes me feel really happy like it, it kind of inspires me to do it too I don't have my coloring look that I got well ago because of that, but I I haven't actually done too much of it. Oh yeah, that adult coloring book thing. Yeah. Oh, you have a boy cat? I know a cat's amber. Okay, yeah. Captain Zack is saying, yeah, two girl cats would work, but yeah, a boy and a girl, sometimes they fight. And Captain Zack says... Um, I have a boy, his name is Charlie. Awesome. All fight, all cats fight with female cats. Batman only. I haven't posted any new Lego pictures on Instagram lately, but I am building them. Awesome, Brianna. That's cool. That's really neat. I'm glad that you keep at your hobbies. I haven't kept up with mine. Who makes me feel happy? 
still keep it up with them in my heart. Kind of, I have a stand now and like down there in the music area and I'm trying to find a way to do that. I'm really excited about Well, I guess one of my hobbies is like, weirdly enough, I don't, I guess I don't think about it, but I, I like seeing animals a lot. I guess that's kind of a hobby. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna go see animals in the aquarium, which is gonna be hard for Luke because he can't always walk around very much with his life, but. I'll do the best I can. It's your birthday, I'm going to grow I don't walk around very much, so. One day we'll be Plus I'll have time to recover at home. I usually I, I sit on the, the couch to stream and I only get up every once in a while. So it's not like I maneuver around a lot. See now Link is gonna go and lick Zelda's head. Which he's doing right now, and that's gonna turn into a fight. Like it's like if he's just giving her a bath, that's one thing, but he starts to groom her. And then they get into a fight. No, he's gonna come back and fight her. I bo I thought they get along like this too, and then he comes back and he bounces. Sometimes you see them sleeping next to each other on the couch though. Yeah. There are moments where they actually sleep on the couch. They, yeah. I've even had pictures of them standing in the same window so they do, they are starting to get along. I mean, he's been with us now for, he came, uh, September, it is now January. So, once we hit the 13th, then, oh. October, November, December, the, yeah, it is, on the 13th it'll be, um, four months since Link moved in. Four months. Luke J. Bryan says, I like doing a lot of crafts and hands work, hands on work. I work with my hands a lot, whether painting or cooking and stuff. That's awesome, um, Luke Bryan. That's fantastic. Thanks, Dan. And that's really great that you that you know cats too, um, Captain Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi Jeffrey, have a great night. Hi everyone. Hi Master Gundam. Yeah. What, what is it? Thank you. What what are you what are you sorry about you? Okay. Oh, you can't. You need to apologize for that. That's a life thing. At least the power came down. That's a good thing. I was getting ready to call it a night with the power because I can't edit. I can't really do anything. Well, I might have been able to edit the audio for my my video, but me too.
Wait, did I just go back down the mountain? I feel like I went backwards. Probably did. This feels like. No, I haven't been here yet. Brianna, I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, I don't know if you're doing another stream of this anytime soon, but um, I had fun. I'm just kind of out of it. I went all the way back down the mountain, kind of messed up. I don't even know how to exit this. How do I exit again? Configure game help. I don't even know how to go back to the main menu. Eh. Oh, you you will be doing another stream of this? Bless you, uh, Brianna. So that means we'll be finishing Frozen uh, on my birthday month. That's cool. I I get to enjoy uh, snow. Uh, I got I got snow in video game on December, uh, January, and February. Awesome. Thank you. That's very kind of you. All right. So anyway, guys and gals, that is gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna get something to eat, and then, uh, I'm gonna call it, I mean, well, I mean, I'm, I'm calling it now, but I'm gonna eat, and then I have to make the YouTube short, and then, uh, I have to do some other stuff, but, you guys have a wonderful night, thank you so much for hanging out, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, sorry for the interruption with the power outage, uh, that kind of, 
when we lost the power, I guess because I was in pitch blackness for a while, I got kind of tired. Uh, so I'm my brain is just kind of. So, thank you again to our ultimate Brianna, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow as we start uh, Prince of Persia. So you guys will be redirected to where Prince of Persia is if you guys could um, set a reminder and all that fun stuff. Prince of Persia will be at four o'clock. Batman will be at eight, maybe double the Prince of Persia. I don't know. We'll find out. Take care, everybody, and thank you again, Brianna, for being the sponsor of this stream. <laughs>